Good everyone and welcome to this video. Today we have a, another episode in the Rare Vehicles series and today we're taking a look at the British DB7. Before any Frenchies jump in the comments, yes I know this is a French aircraft but it's in the British tech tree and Gaijin have not given us one in the French tech tree. So for the sake of this video I'm simply going to call it the British DB7. But anyway, now that's cleared up and hopefully the like free French viewers are happy Let's get into it. So obviously I've covered this vehicle in a review before. We obviously covered it back when I got it in the 10 Rare Vehicles event. And this is a nice little bomber. It's essentially a A20 Havoc, similar to the Havoc in the British tree and the Boston in the British tree. But there is a couple of changes. Chief among which, we are stuck with frog guns. We get 7.5 max 1934 machine guns for 500 rounds each. And the gunners also get stuck with frog machine guns. And, well, these aren't as good as British guns. But they do sound better because they have the German machine gun sound. So that's at least something. But, yeah, we essentially have the same armor as an A20. So, well, it's, it's pretty much an A20 in terms of its armor. But, of course, there is a few things that obviously change. We do have an open glass nose because obviously this is where the bombardier would be. And, well, yeah, this is obviously what really changes. The engines from the Havocs and stuff don't really change either. We still have the original Pratt Whitney engines. The armor is, of course, quite all right for a low-tier bomber, I guess. And this thing can actually take a surprising amount of damage. It can also, not, well, it can also fly back to base on one engine, which is going to definitely help us in the future. But in terms of overall, like, bomb loads and stuff, you already have one, because that's all this thing can carry. Four 500-pound bombs, and they're American bombs, so you can actually kill a base with these, which is always nice. But of course, we do have to address the elephant in the room, which is the 7.5 belts. These aren't great, unfortunately, so... Yeah, the best belt for me is universal, but even then it's not that great, but it's something, I guess. And then for the French 7.5s, I run the APT belt. Now this might seem counterintuitive because you want to run more armor piercing than you do tracer, which is why most people run the armor targets belt. But no, I use a bit of a false illusion idea when, when it comes to aircraft with light machine guns that have these sorts of belts. I do the same with Japanese aircraft. I want them to think, especially if they're a noob, that I have more guns than what they think. So that will make them sod off, pretty much. I know that's probably the dumbest way of describing it and thinking about it, but trust me, it does help out quite a bit. So, yeah, we can hopefully do some work with these, but still. Obviously, comparing it to the Havoc and the Boston, we at least get the base killing potential, and, well, that's always something. And you will have noticed this is the unlockable skin for the DB7, or as we like to nickname this thing, the Vichy Climb Car. Very nice little skin, and I must admit, you Frenchies know how to paint. Although, it does honestly look like something I'd seen a clan. Well, out of a clan car, but, well, that's why we nicked him it. So, let's get in, and let's get cracking. Obviously, we don't have too many vehicles left for Britain in this series, because, well, we've had to, I've had to split them off, because... The problem is, is when you have so many vehicles, you kind of forget where to put them. Like... Should they go in this series? Should they go in that series? Etc. And it can be a bit of a pain in the backside. But even so, I have sorted it out. And, well, it is something where you have to go, okay, this vehicle's from an event. This vehicle's rare, etc. These are technically... Well, this is technically from an event. But it's also not classed as an event vehicle. Which is why... It is in this series accordingly. So obviously we don't get wet, so that is something to consider, but we do still get good enough engines to keep us a, well, keep us going a decent amount. So that's at least something. So I'm going to stick the plane in a slight climb, because, well... Okay, you're bombing that base, that's fine. I will bomb that base. So I know most people are expecting me to probably go... Bomber base, RTB, and this will be the most boring video of your life. But no, if there's one thing I love doing with these sorts of bombers, it's going aggressive. 
So I'm going to cut us to the next part of the battle, and I will see you shortly. Well, you join me back a couple of minutes later. I'm just about to drop your bombs, and well, I've spotted a Hudson that I'm going to go for after. So I'm hoping that we get these bombs out quick and I can deal with this guy, because, well, he can kill a base as well, and I'd rather not lose 200 tickets. Bombs out. Let's go get him. Alright. Luckily I know where his 50 cal is, so... I don't think he's going to like me too much after this. Let's see what happens. We've got a teammate nearby if we need the assistance, but we shouldn't need the assistance. Keyword. I think I've hit his gunner. Yeah, I've pulled off his elevator now. I need to get out of the way of that 50 cal. I'm going to leave him, because while well, he has no elevator, I'm going to assume he's dead. Took just over a quarter of our ammo, but I think he's done for. Yeah, I'm not going to... I'm not going to be that sort of person where, like, you fly a bomber, drop a bomb, and then that's it. I'm going to make sure that you at least have some fun watching this thing dance around the sky shooting stuff down, so... You know. I'm sure some of my French audience will appreciate this. Like I said, I don't have many French viewers, but... Well. I think I only have, like, two or three, but... You know. What actually is interesting is, um... YouTube now gives you like a like a weekly analytics thing and one of the questions that came up was what is your or do you know your second most viewer like high amount of area like which area of the world is your second highest and well it's actually the UK my top is the US so there you go and then I have like one Philippine viewer, which was quite funny to discover. It's it's surprising by like how much the world can just surprise you. Like you can just see like where your content flows to. And it's it's quite surprising, so you know. That's something interesting. Thank you. See what I mean? These these guns can do some work if you know how to boom and zoom with this thing. But yeah, audience participation. Let me know where you're from. In the comments below. I'd love to hear it. You don't have to. It's optional. That Same with all these audience participations. They are optional. Don't force yourself. But I'd love to hear it. Where are you from? In the world? And well, you know where I'm from, so that's not particularly hard. Oh, my gun is blacked out in this manoeuvre. I'm not surprised. Poor Pierre. He's probably wondering when does he get to go home for his next baguette. Don't worry. Pierre's well fed. That's why the plane can be a bit heavy at times. Yeah, we're doing alright. I mean, we've, we've gotten a couple of kills. We've managed to push most of the enemy team down. We're doing just fine. It's mostly just bombers left now. That yak's gonna rip his wings off if he's not careful. Right, slow it down. Okay, he's pulling a maneuver I can't pull, but that's fine. Up we go. Yeah, this thing does get a, get a bit fat once you get it to high speed, so that's one thing to consider. Is that friendly? Oh, it's a bot. Okay. There we go. No, don't do that. I can't do that. I can't do that. That's just mean. Pierre just wants to send you some lovely baguettes. Pierre is not normally a sharing man. No, no. Up, 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 up. Yep, we're okay. Bum cheeks clenched. See what I mean? You can actually throw this thing around somewhat well. It's quite maneuverable. 
for what it is. Hey up there, buddy. I'm gonna pull off because I don't want to get TK'd. Uh, well, that's exactly why I pulled off because I would have been probably crashed into by a teammate. Where's the rest of the enemy team? I know they've still got like bombers left, but you'd expect some of them to put up a fight, you know? I just also noticed my fuel's bugged. It's showing minimum fuel, and yet I'm carrying over 40 minutes of fuel. Critical hit. Come on, Kai 27, get him. Bite his ankles. You know what? If you're going to ram him, mate, do it. I'll let you. Go on. Grab him. Assert dominance. You better make it quick because that flak's getting close. Never mind. He didn't get it. Yep, last guy's a bomber. There you go. That's just what the sort of fun you can have with this thing. It's, it's a very fun aircraft to fly sometimes, but I, I don't get to fly it very often. Because as I said, it's not classed as an event vehicle in game, and well... Yeah, I can't use it for um, for anything, unfortunately. I could use it for dailies. Well, the first one, but yeah, outside of that, Gadget doesn't let you really use this thing, and it's kind of sad because I like this plane. Yeah, careful, teammate. I don't want you to ram me. I said ram the enemy, not me. Alright, let's drop a... no, that's not it. Let's drop an order. So where is he then? Ow. Oh, he's back at base. It's an IL-2. I don't have the ammo for that. But... We don't just have the ammo on the plane to use. We have the plane itself. I know that would be quite funny to see a DB7 ram an aisle too, but I think my little friend down there is also eager to do it. Fair enough, it looks like this guy's going to camp his runway anyway. Let's have a good look. Yep, he's definitely going to camp. You can just tell by the player card. <sighs> Alright then, that's a waste of an order. So I'm just going to go back to Grandpa then. You go, little buddy. You go get him. Bite his ankles. Just for me. Ow! That was quite a big flak hit. And that wasn't that gun in front that did it. It's that AA two and a half miles away. I've only got 40 rounds left though, so I'm going to have to RTB soon. But then again, Pierre and Pierre haven't really gotten to do much. So, you know what? That was a weird saturation then. It's like the game just changed colour all of a sudden. There we go. Another ground target destroyed. Yeah, we, we still have lower guns, so why not? Let's just go do it. Wait, what happened to the... No! He died! R.I.P. Chinese Kai-27 pilot. You will be missed by many. Well, the people that watch this video, but... R.I.P. You will be missed. He was a brave soul who just wanted to ram... And Gaijin said no. Honestly though, runway camping in an IL-2, that is really sad. That is just sad. Harry's going to crucify that guy in the comments. There we go, that's that one done. So I'm going to throttle back a little bit, because obviously we are leaking oil. And we're going to use the gunner, aka Lower Pierre, to strafe out this howitzer. Oh, he's actually J-ing out. He base bombs in an aisle 2 and then J's out. He brings shame. I'll save for Harry so it saves him the breath of all well, the, the effort of typing it in the comments. He brings shame to motherland. And if anyone likes my Harry impression, let me know in the comments. I don't know if Harry actually likes it, but, well, too bad Harry. It's funny. But there we go, that is pretty much the match over and done with. I've jammed my lower gun, but that's fine. And now hopefully, before the game ends, we should be able to clean up these two. Well, 
once my gunner reloads. Oh no, the game then ending. That's fine. There we go. That's that done. Not a bad little match and definitely a showcase of how fun this thing can actually be at times. But, well, unfortunately it's still a rank 2, so, you know, it is something to consider. But I really hope you enjoyed seeing the DB7 in action. Obviously, it is quite fun to take this plane out every so often. And, well, I do sometimes use it for a daily or two, but, well, sadly it's not an event vehicle, otherwise I'll be using it a lot more. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. But anyway, we're going to move on from the from the DB7 from there, and we're going to move on to the Hurricane Mark 1 Late FAAM. And if you want me to say the full proper name, it's Hurricane Mark 1 Late Fleet Air Arm Thing. I think it's... I don't know what the M stands for, but it'd be Fleet Air Arm, because it's got the Fleet Air Arm skin. But, yeah. This plane's got a little bit of history behind it, and also what event it's from, because it actually has an event it's from. But Gaijin don't think it's an event vehicle. So, yeah. Again, this is another one that's probably been rotting in my hangar for a long time. But anyway, I'm going to leave you all to it for today. I really hope you enjoyed seeing the DB7 in action, and I will see you all on the next one.